Hello and welcome to a video tutorial to show how to use the drawing tools in the garden landscape design software Garden Planner. So first up in using the drawing tools we click on the tools tab on the left hand side. That shows you all the different drawing tools we have for garden beds, walls and fences, paving, paths, pools, ponds, gravel and stone and scrolling down there also we have edges, shade area, hoses, measurement lines, lines and areas, shapes. They all basically work in the same way. So once you understand how to use one, you'll understand how to use them all. Let's begin by choosing which tool we want to use, which is the garden beds. Click on that icon and we have selected garden beds. Now the first thing to do is select what style of garden bed we want by clicking on the style button you'll see a range of options there that you can scroll through, lots of different kinds of lawns, garden beds, ground cover, um, but we'll just go with a basic lawn here. Okay, next you have the different ways of drawing out it. Drawing with straight lines, or um, which is the simplest option to use, drawing curved, drawing shapes, squares, circles, or rounded square, or just freehand drawing. And we'll go through all of those. But let's start first with the straight lines. So click on that and then move the mouse over to the grid. Um, you'll click first to start drawing the first part of the shape. So click once and move along. And you can see the measurement of how far you've moved there. We're going to do a 30 foot by 20 foot lawn, I think, here. So we'll click again and measure out to 20 feet. Click. So it's just each time you have a corner, you click and click again. And we've added another corner. And lastly, click back at the end. Or double click, sorry, at the end. And there, it's finished. You've created a lawn. So that again, it's just click to start, click for each corner, double click for the end. And there you have a lawn. Let's show that you can actually draw, it doesn't have to be a rectangle, it can be any shape with as many edges as you require. So just click, click, click around. I'm making a strange kind of L shape, but people have all sorts of shaped lawns in their gardens. And there you have it. And once you select a lawn or anything you've created with the drawing tools, you'll see these blue and green dots. The blue dots allow you to adjust, adjust the corner of the lawn and the green dots allow you to curve the edges of the lawn. So just drag and drag the corner, make it any shape you want. Again, I can drag this top corner as well um, to any position I would like. And then I can just click on the and drag the green one to curve it. And in doing so, you can curve here, curve down here, and you're making a rounded lawn. With a bit of creativity, you can pretty much create any shape that you may encounter in your garden. You may have noticed that the dots were snapping to the grid lines there. That's because that option is turned on by default under the grid settings, but you can always change it if you don't want to. It generally is easier to have it snapping to the grid lines to get things to line up, especially for a straight lines. Once selected, you can also change the style and go back to any of those styles you saw before. So if you decide you picked the wrong one, wow, there you go, lots of yellow flowers. Um, you can of course change that from different color to yellow and there's other types of lawn, garden bed, um, bark chips, ground cover, those sort of things. There's some ground cover. Uh, sort of sticks and bike chips. So let's m go back to lawn. That one there has an edging. And we'll move into looking at the other um, drawing methods. Again, the mo one you'll most commonly use is one on the left, the straight line one, but there's the curved one. This one works by basically curving from the first point you click on and round and round. So it makes each curve based on the last point that you clicked on. It will work fairly well, but sometimes I tend to find that the easier option is to draw a with the straight lines and then curve the lines myself. You can also draw a shape, draw out a square, 
and delete that, or we can just as easily choose the circle option to draw a circle or oval, and I'll just delete that. And the other one was rounded, it's corners square. And this is freehand, which is just squiggle away with your mouse and get what kind of mess you want. But there are situations where that can be useful. Okay, now let's have a look at, well, I'd say that the paving and the pools and ponds and gravel and stone, etc., all work in exactly the same way as the garden beds. I can give you an example with the pools. Um, here we go, click again to get started, click for each corner, and finally double click to end, and voila, we have a pool. And we can, as before, I'll just move the properties window out of the way there. We can change the style to any of those, any of the styles we have for pools. So you don't have to get it right, or you don't have to pick the right style at the start because you can always change it around. Um, some of them have edging, some of them don't. Uh, it suits whatever needs you want. And But let's have a look at the walls and fences because they work just a little bit differently as do paths and edging. Because instead of drawing a field shape, you're going to just draw um, something that's based on a series of lines. So in this case, we draw out the same kind of rectangle as we did with a pool, but it's just a fence. And you can curve and adjust the edges and all those sort of things exactly the same as you do with the garden beds. Uh, and obviously move it around. Um, change the style to any style you want. Uh, the settings options there will also allow you to change the thickness and spacing of the posts. Um, paths work in the same way. There we go, we've just drawn a, well, a strange kind of diagonal path. Often you'll find in paths you'll want to curve them because it looks a lot nicer in a garden to have a meandering path than a straight path, but there are situations where you'll have straight paths as well. This, one of the features of uh, paths, walls and fences and edging is that as well as changing the style, which again, same as with the garden beds and the pools, you can change the style to whatever you want. Uh, you can also click on the settings button and change the width. So making the path instead of here 20 inches wide, let's make it 10 inches wide. Click on that and there you go. And that basically covers it. That's all there is to the drawing tools. It's Once you've done it a couple of times, it's all the same for all the different tools, and you get used to it and find it very easy and familiar uh, 